Welcome to my electron line. Now what happens when we try to integrate the product of the sine of one angle times the sine of another angle? And we're going to illustrate that by using the sine of mx times the sine of nx, where m and n are constants and they're not equal to each other. Of course, we're going to need the identity where we have the sine of a times the sine of b, which is equal to one half times the cosine of a minus b minus the cosine of a plus b. So using that identity, we're going to replace this integral by what it will look like when we use that identity. So this is equal to, and notice we can take the one-half outside the integral sign, so it's one-half times the integral of, now we have the cosine of the difference of the two angles, so we take the cosine of mx minus nx, and then minus the cosine of the sum of the two, which is mx plus nx, and if we put brackets around it, then we can also write the dx. Now the next step to make it easier to see what we need to do next is to factor out an x here. So what we can do then is this is equal to one half times the integral of the cosine of m minus n times x minus the cosine of m plus n times x, and again put brackets around it, times dx. And now we can see that we can easily integrate that if we have the proper dx. So let's split up into two integrals now. That means that this is equal to one half times, we'll just leave one half out. Here we need the integral of the cosine of m minus n times x times the proper differential. And of course, since we have that constant in here, we need that constant here again, and using a different color, I could write m minus n, and that should be an m. Let's try this again, m minus n. And of course, when we multiply this times m minus n, we also have to divide it by m minus n. And so now we have the proper differential here, so we can integrate this. We do the same with the second integral. So this becomes minus the integral of the cosine of m plus n times dx. And notice I left some room again because I'm going to need the proper differential. Well, first of all, I need an x there. And then I need the proper differential m plus n like this. And notice that this here is the angle, just like this here is the angle. This does not belong to the angle, this belongs to differential. The m minus n times dx and m plus n times dx. And of course, since I multiply it here, I also have to divide by m plus n. Now I'm ready to integrate. So when you integrate, we get the following. This is equal to 1 half times 1 over m minus n. And let me put the one half around brackets like that. So when we integrate the cosine, that would be the, let's see, the derivative sine is the positive cosine, so the integral is the positive sine. So it'll be the sine of m minus n times x. And then here we have minus 1 over m plus n. And then here we have the integral again that will come the sine of m plus n times x. Make sure I don't forget the x's. And we have a constant of integration. Of course, we can then multiply everything through by one half. We can leave it as is. I think that's good enough. I think what you typically see is that they write this underneath. So this can be written as one half plus a constant of integration. And then typically, you'll probably see that more likely inside the table of integrals. And that's how it's done.